passion grows out of knowing people in Africa and having friends there and seeing the results and the difference in the communities and the hope that develops when you start working with them on, the, on these incredible ideas that they have to pull themselves out of poverty. So it's a, it's a big story now and um, certainly something we're really passionate about. Clay are passionate about the middle space, the place where the word and the world collide and the truth of the gospel and the great need in the world. Bloodwater started um, in 2002 after kind of, I, I took a trip to Africa and um, the reason I was there was just because a year earlier we had been asked as a band to start talking about HIV and AIDS um, and uh, the reason for that was that uh, some friends of ours had taken a poll and had asked people if they had an opportunity to help somebody with AIDS would they and um, only three percent said that they would. Yeah I would just add that it happened really one little step at a time mm -hmm. and um, when Dan came back with the idea you know it was at the same time really exciting and pretty scary and something in it um, pulled us and we were, I think we were drawn to the this crazy piece of joy and suffering and um, some of the stories that we had heard there that Dan brought back and and each little step we took forward as people reminded us you know this, this is important work this is beautiful work this is a cool partnership uh, things like that I just felt like I had to had to know people and make it a human story and not just a statistical one mm -hmm. so in, in kind of traveling and seeing a lot of different things, we, we were traveling from one village to another in, in a very rural part of Africa, and we were crossing over a riverbed, and um, it was a dry riverbed, but there were people just um, digging in the dirt and then sticking their faces down into it. And um, I asked the driver what they were doing, and he said they're drinking. Um, and that was, that was shocking to me. Um, and they explained to me that there were communities that, um, where people didn't have access to clean water. And I thought that was also incredibly shocking. Um, I had no idea that there was a water crisis in the world. Uh, we're passionate about the dual rescue that our friend Gary Haugen speaks of that says, you know, in America, um, we don't have the lack of resources that they have in Africa. In Africa, the rescue is from poverty and from a lack of resources. Um, in America, we have a rescue uh, from uh, spiritual poverty or um, trivia, caring about things that don't really matter. There's something, and we've learned this in jars, I think, and also through blood water, is um, always trying to carry a posture of learning. Mm -hmm. um, we never really stop learning, and it's one of the greatest gifts that we have to navigate our, our world. And you is start out in a venture like this, everybody trains you to keep your expectations low. So I think, I think early on there was just a sense of, wow, we get to do this, you know, there, and there, mm -hmm. In, when you're 20 and 21 years old, you don't have to really think that far ahead. Showed up in Africa as a rock band, and we're talking about villages that don't have clean water and don't have sanitation and hygiene training, and we don't know the first thing of what they need or the complexities that are going on in that village. So all we could do really was listen mm -hmm. and uh, hear stories and make notes and mm -hmm. Make some connections and look for partners mm -hmm. with one another, with our families, with our audience, with our culture. It's um, it's easy to just you know spit stuff out and shoot our mouths off, and it's mm -hmm. hard and important to continue to listen. Mm -hmm. we, you know, we must be students of aesthetics and uh, aware of the the smaller details of life and, and the larger ones, and um, uh, constantly looking for beauty in the midst of of uh, our experiences because that's that's 
a way of bringing forward the gospel into the world and in our own way, our own unique way. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and seeing our hearts changed and, and uh, seeing ourselves surprised by, by God in places that we wouldn't expect Him.